A vicious attack against America's police officers again in Seattle. It allegedly involves burning a police vehicle while an officer is inside the vehicle. Our own Rick Leventhal standing by from Fox News, our West Coast Bureau with the very latest. Rick, wow. Yeah. Hey, Sean. In the first two weeks after the death of George Floyd, more than 725 police officers were injured in anti-police protests, and many more have been hurt since then, including nearly 500 in New York City. But this most recent attack happened in an alley in Seattle this afternoon, an officer responding to a call of a man brandishing a flaming piece of lumber. And when the cop rolled up, the suspect threw the blazing two-by-two into the patrol vehicle, which caught fire with the officer still inside. An eyewitness says that officer then opened fire on the assailant. The officer is sitting on the passenger side of the vehicle, and he's actually firing shots as the vehicle is rolling, and the cop actually falls to the ground. Luckily, didn't roll over him. The suspect tried to flee, but other police arriving on scene chased him into a nearby parking garage, tased him, and took him into custody. The injured officer was hospitalized with what are described as non-life-threatening burns. His vehicle, as you can see, destroyed. Another example, the random dangers our police face every day and night on the streets of America, with 32 officers fatally shot in the line of duty this year alone, Sean. All right, Rick, prayers for the police officers everywhere under assault of uh, an attack around the country. Thank you. Dueling town halls tonight over at